So, no Cold War this week, uh, unless you want half a video, but hello, I'm running out of ideas for videos fast and I need to yet again fill out the schedule of some less interesting videos, but uh, IKEA video. So um, remember, if you want to support me and you actually want to see the Cold War video when it goes up, you can always subscribe to see more content by me, the majority of my viewers are subscribed, but if you are new around these parts, then please consider it. Uh, so without any further hesitations, let's begin. in the 20s, back when things were simpler and America's economy was booming. But this time we're in Sweden, and a young boy at the age of 5 starts selling matches to his neighbours. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name by the way because I know I'll butcher it. Wait, no I will. I forgot about the magic of plot convenience. It's in your comrade. Then, when he reaches 7 years old, he gets out a bibsicle and then he starts raiding it around and buying matches in bulk. Then he starts selling them for enough to make a good profit out of it. This is a cleven seven year old me, I just add. I mean, what was I doing when I was seven? <laughs> Probably being a triangle. I don't know. Anyway, he starts selling flower seeds, and then before he knows it, he's like, boom, Christmas tree decorations, boom, creative cards, boom, pencils, boom, ballpoint pens. And then we need to like fast forward 20 years, uh, and our good buddy Inyar has become a successful furniture dealer, and he develops IKEA into like a furniture retailer. Uh, during the 40s to the 50s, they explore the use of catalogs, self-assembly, and advertising. Let's keep powering on. Um, even further to the 60s, when it really starts to take shape. The stores begin to open, and then even further on to the 80s, when it's expanded and more starts appearing in places like the USA, Italy, France, and the UK. Uh, some fancy exclusives arrive, and then when the 90s reach, children's stuff starts being sold. And then some group was formed called the IKEA Group in the 2000s. Then IKEA spans, uh, expands to Japan and Russia. And then every room of the house is explored. Uh, well, they say that, but they haven't made furniture for triangular rooms. Or also, I think at some point they start selling those really cute Dachshund toys. My doggo absolutely loves them. Then sadly, Inya died on the 27th of January 2018. At least he managed to see the success of IKEA before he passed away. Fun facts about IKEA. The last fun facts actually worked out pretty well, so I'm gonna do another one. The name IKEA is an acronym made from the initials of the founder, the farm he grew up in, and his own village. Did you know that 2,000 new products are introduced each year in IKEA, and that each product is actually named after Swedish words? The UK sells the most photograph frames in the whole world, and that's from IKEA UK. The average size of an IKEA store is 300,000 feet. IKEA actually sells houses in certain parts of the world. 11.6 million Swedish meatballs have been sold in the UK thanks to IKEA. More copies of the IKEA catalogue are printed than the Bible. The best selling piece of furniture is supposedly a bookcase named Billy, and apparently more than half a million of them are sold every month. In some parts of the world, it isn't unusual to see people napping in IKEA stores on the beds. And finally, IKEA has launched an augmented reality app, or AR, that allows you to place furniture in your homes. And now we reach the end. I'm so sorry, please forgive me for this video being so short. But I tried and I guess you know a decent amount about IKEA and I, I've never actually eaten a Swedish meatball before. But I heard they're better than regular meatballs. Uh, it's all just opinions out of the way. Uh, so the Cold War video may be up next week, but uh, no promises. This is going to be a good video. Um, I would say I'm like a third Stay safe, enjoy the rest of your day, and until next time, please do not have a bad one.
a, a budget, budget films, films production. production.